Both of you guys look really sharp in there. Good. No, I feel good. You know, uh, it's been a while. Uh, trust me, I'm, I'm not where I want to be yet, uh, but I'm, uh, compared to a few months ago, I'm, I'm looking way better. That's <laughs> uh, great. That's great. For a second, it looked kind of scary, but, <laughs> you know, but it happens with inactivity and, yeah. and uh, injuries and stuff like that, so it's, it's part of the game. Well, now you know you have an extra, what, two weeks? Yeah. Because they move the dates? So that makes yeah. it even better. <laughs> no, absolutely. Right. Uh, you know, uh, according to the promoter, uh, my opponent had issues with the visa, and they uh -huh. were going to be cutting it short. I think the earliest they could get it was to March 11th, no, March 9th. Right. The fight was going to be the 11th, I believe. Yeah, March 11th. So we cutting it a little bit too short. So again, with an extra two weeks, The guy's ranked 70 in, in the world, so uh, he's uh, he's well ranked. You know, uh, he's not you know uh, up in the two three hundreds. You know, uh, it's uh, I not that I'm getting overconfident. The guy has 19 wins, six six losses. You know, uh, coming from Sonora, Mexico, I believe. Uh, Southpaw. He's a uh, he's a tough opponent. Starts slow and gets uh get stronger as the rounds go but you know um, I have my own I'm just I'm just as strong and, and just as tough as he is you know um, so uh, March 26 I, I hope I come out and, and, and prove to people that I that I'm I'm back you know I'm back and I'm, I'm ready to I'm ready to go back to the top where I belong Well, that's great because you've been on the big stage before. Uh, this guy, I, know, I looked at his record. This guy's been pretty busy in 21. Absolutely, but yeah, it's part. It's part of the game, you know. Yeah. I, I know uh, a lot of the guys who uh, uh, who've been in the game already, and, and you know, like I said, I had uh, two ball disc and a, and a pinch nerve. Uh, took me off uh, off the ring for quite some time. Did a lot of physical therapy, uh, you know, and, and, and there for, for, for a second, I decided to actually retire permanently. Uh, uh, stay, stay with it, you know, I stay with, with, the, with the sport, just, you know, for personal reasons that, you know, just being shaped uh, so that I don't get too heavy and stuff, uh, uh, as boxers usually do, you know, once they retire. But, you know, uh, uh, luckily my, my coach, Tony Bello, uh, uh, kind of, saw something in me that I that I couldn't see for myself and, and just kept pushing, kept digging trenches and, and here I am, I'm back, you know, uh, I've came a long way uh, from where I was uh, uh, two years ago. Uh, I think I'm a little bit more tactical versus uh, just going straight forward and, and, and going for the going for the knockout or just, you know, exactly. going for the toe action, you know. Uh, the thing about it is, you know, as we get older, you know, you're not, you're not as, as fast and as strong as those 20 year olds that are coming up, so you got to use a little bit more tactics, uh, the Bernard Hopkins way, you know, uh, and uh, uh, you know, it, it's part of the part of the game, you know. Uh, you get a little bit too uh, overconfident with those eight ounce gloves. Uh, uh, I know I'm strong. I know I have power, you know, and, and you uh, you depend so much on that strength and, and power that you forget about your the, the, the tactics of the game, you know. And, right. And uh, so I'm, I'm going back to my fundamentals and, and you know kind of what actually made me who I, who I am, uh, who I was back back in the 2007, 2008 when I when I got with top rank. Again, you know, those eight ounce gloves are pretty seeming. They, they they make you feel like you're unstoppable. You can knock anybody, but it doesn't work that way. You know, uh, I'm, I'm 32 uh, now, and uh, 
I feel that I've gotten smarter as, with the experience that I've gained along the years. And, uh, you know, uh, it's all about putting it together, putting my combination together, and it's not depending on, 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 on chasing the head and, and going for a knockout, you know, every single time. Exactly. Roberto, I've seen you. I've been following you for a long time. Uh, and I'm glad to see you back. And I'm sure that all your fans here in Dallas are glad to see you back. And we look forward to seeing you uh, in your next fight. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And, and, and again, it's going to be March 26th uh, at the uh, uh, undercard of uh, Eric Morales and Orlando Salido uh, exhibition match. Uh, I'm excited. Hope to see everybody out there at the DFW. And, and uh, man, I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm <laughs> glad to be back. <laughs> all right. Welcome back. Thank you.